この会社辞めて自分で会社建てるからやっぱ思ったより忙しいじゃないそれであの会社辞めて新しく建ててあそこでやるって言ってるからちょっとあの不可能なんじゃない彼はよくない My name is Alexander Reader In 2000, I moved to Tokyo and started working for a company called Via Linux as a software engineer. And after starting working about a year and a half, I met my current wife, Chiaki. And we dated for about six years. So we were married in the summer of 2007. And then I came that September to New York by myself because Chiaki has her own business and, and needed to stay in Tokyo. And so we started living apart from September. And really, what's been the savior of, of not the savior, but really what's facilitated our relationship is video chat. To me, it's really amazing how the video quality can make a difference to the experience. So, The quality of the video chat line itself can affect whether you, you have fights or not, for example. So, if the audio quality is bad or if the connection is dropping out all the time, that'll kind of become this bad energy for the whole, for both of you. And that can lead to other things which aren't going so well coming up. But in the same way, there's nothing like in the morning being, being able to see your partner's face like, nice and big on the screen. So it definitely has its up and ups and downs. And I have to say that the technology is getting a lot better. So now that you can, you can sort of create this kind of augmented reality between the two of you using the computer as a facilitator by, for example, changing the background so you're somewhere else. And you can kind of joke between each other. Or it's a really good way to share space. And accent the reality, which is sort of a virtual reality between the two of you, because you don't really know she's actually there. You just, I mean, you see her through the computer, but then you're able to kind of change the way that you see each other, change the lenses. And that provides a richness of dialogue, which is needed, because otherwise it really is just two people on the screen. When I see Chiaki's I need a hug face, I always try to make her laugh. And so, I may, I'll make faces or I'll pretend like I'll stand up and pretend I'm going to jump through the video camera into the other room. We're just sharing the space. So this becomes a window. I, I have a window into my apartment in Tokyo and she has a window into mine here. I think one of the more difficult parts about doing video chat or being apart is that I'm in New York and she's in Tokyo, so there's a 14 to 15 hour time difference. So our, my morning is her night, and her night is my morning. So really the parts of your lives which you share are different. So she'll, if I catch her in the morning, I'm ready to leave, but then she'll be ready to talk about what she did that evening. So you really end up having more of a conversation of your like, gestalt experience, rather than these one-off events about who you met and, and what happened.